Hi everyone, I'm Vishnu from Javis Labs, along with me is Praveen, and he got us a very exciting news uh, that actually exciting for Microsoft. They announced uh, Copilot and for free in both Android and iOS devices. So we are super excited should we be paying for ChatGPT 4 uh, for everyone in the team or should we just use Microsoft Copilot in their Android and iOS devices. So we want to make this video where we go to uh, Microsoft Copilot and compare it with 3.5 which Praveen has been using it for some time and I've been using uh, GPT-4 for quite some time and it has been super useful. So let's review it and you will uh, see our opinions in the video. Praveen, you want to try? Yeah. So Vishnu, let's talk about the UI. So here we see a lot of things and we see with Bing. So here we have chat, laugh, compare, create, organize, travel and make a song. I think we'll check out the, check this out later. Yeah, so one quick question that comes to my mind is, uh, so what do these do? These are like setting the theme for the chat. Like I think uh, Twitter has this chat called Groth and Elon Musk has been tweeting that it's more funnier than ChatGPT. I have not tried it, but I want to try it someday. Uh, is it something like that? Or should we try that? What happens when you click one of these? Yeah. Oh, so what do you want to try? Uh, let's say laugh. Let's see if there's something fun. Okay. Okay, it's like a preset. Okay. Uh, it's something similar to what ChatGPT has. If you go here in uh, GPT-4, you see this, right? Like they have the snippets where they give you a few ideas on what questions you can ask, right? Uh, similar to that, Copilot also has this. But at least for first impression, I was hoping something interesting like rock where it can probably help me uh, talk to something which is funnier than rather being serious. No, I have to really check rock on how it actually behaves, right? There are other things like, okay, these are more of questions, but I think there is an image in this. I think ChatGPT looks more like uh, Google's interface with a simple search uh, text, box, text box and that's all it has, right? In a similar way, uh, GPT-4, chat GPT has a simple text box where you type in the content, you get the answer. But Copilot this has got more of it. I think it's Microsoft style. And then there's a conversation, conversation style, uh, creative, precise, balanced. And then we asked some question. I think it was trying to generate and I think Praveen has not signed in. So let's ask him to sign. Oh, I think Praveen has actually Yeah, signed I have signed in. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening here. To only generate images for users that are signed in with their personal account. If you want to sign in or don't have an account, please visit. I think I have already signed in. No, I think they are asking you to join an image creator. Okay. Sure but they did not ask this in my Android phone. When I was trying to okay. in my Android, they did not ask this. So let's do one thing. Let's put the same uh, question that we asked Copilot to GPT-4 and 3.5 and let's see how they react. Okay, yeah. Before that, okay, but here we can actually see uh, there once was a user from Madurai. So I'm wondering if actually Copilot is taking the location information. Yeah. I'm not sure how they did it. Uh, no, we are from India and place not very close to Madurai. I'm not sure how they got Madurai. Okay. Wait. Hope it was a coincidence. I think it's talking about us. There once was a user from Madurai whose questions were never quite right. They asked me to light, write a lime rig. So, that's light. But did you give a permission uh, to share your location? No, I don't think so. I usually don't use Chrome. So okay. this is the first. And one more thing. Microsoft Copilot is only available on, I think, Microsoft Edge, Bing and Chrome. Yeah, so I've okay. never given it access okay. to my location. I think it's good that they at least uh, allowing it to work on Chrome. Yeah. Right? Rather than just on Bing. It kind of makes sense from a business perspective. Yeah. So let's ask but some more questions like uh, probably what's happening in the AI or something specific. Can we try? Uh, mm -hmm. What can I use VLLM AI for? VLLM is something which is a very powerful way to expose LLMs as a API, right? Let's see what Copilot thinks, what 3.5 and 4 thinks. I think 3.5 uh, may not have an idea because the training stopped in April 22, but 4 should have more better answer. Can you repeat your question? Uh, let's say, what can I use VLLM for? Okay, yeah. Let's copy this prompt and give it to 3.5. Okay. It started hallucinating, I would say. Mm -hmm. But it's at least being honest that 
uh, it has a knowledge cut off and it's not able to. I think ChatGPT has improved in that way. Let's try the info. Yeah, uh, okay. I don't think even uh, GPT-4 is getting it right. I'm not sure if there's something called VLLM outside the VLLM.ai in the AI space. So let's try to be more specific. Let's also go and see what uh, Cobalt has done. Uh, let's, instead of asking VLLM, let's say VLLM.ai, and let's see if that actually makes a difference. A difference. Okay. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I would say the GPT-4 failed. Oh, but uh, as you see here, Copilot has got it right. Mm -hmm. So I would assume that it's, it was able to uh, figure out that it has to search the internet to get the right answer. As we can see here, uh, it was searching for VLLM users and then it was generating answers for you. So I was just wondering why in this case it was not searching the internet. I think the first priority of uh, Microsoft Copilot is to search the internet, right? That's very interesting. Uh, so how would we ask both GPT-4 and Copilot what's happening in India today in, in the world of science? It's definitely able to figure out the date and that. I think that's more of a logical than guessing. Let's let's also ask the same question to Copilot and let's see how it works. Okay, and I think Microsoft Copilot only generates the outputs when leave it. <coughs> I'm sorry, and I think only Microsoft Copilot generates the output only when you're in the tab. And if you move here, yeah, that's absolutely right. Yeah, so that's the reason it was not uh, creating the response till we are to this. Time. That was an interesting observation. Okay, and I'm pretty sure they're also giving some news articles. Okay, I think it's a very good way of uh, probably getting ads also in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say, for example, the way ChatGPT works, there's no way that you can introduce ads, or maybe they would some point of time, but. People are talking about chats probably taking away the ad market. I'm not sure if Google is using this strategy, sorry, Microsoft is using this strategy to actually capture the ad market, which is dominated by Google, right? So our question was more towards what's happening in India in the world of science versus this. And I think this comes from Wikipedia article. I'm not sure where it is coming from. Okay, it's digging from directly from the VLLM docs. That's nice. Yeah. Right. Let's see what's happening. Okay, according to latest news, I think this is an excerpt from a couple of news articles. Let's see what ChatGPT was able to... Like, I actually like the way ChatGPT answered. It's trying to answer my question rather than trying to sell me something else. Yeah. In this case, I can see that Copilot is redirecting me to a couple of links which I may not want to do with a chat interface. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, what else can we do with this co-pilot? I also, you know, before we go to that, there's also one thing that uh, we can see very clearly that I think there is a limitation on the number of requests that we can make in probably a day. I think it's for a day. I think for GPT-4, the paid version, I think there is a limitation. I'm not sure what is the limitation. It's like 240. Yeah, 40 minutes. 40 messages in three hours. But I think you can go mostly beyond that, particularly if you're human, if you're probably trying to automate, they may block you. Uh, usually they don't have an issue with it. And mostly you don't need to, add, I don't personally use it that much. So it's, or instead of calling it free, probably it's a limited version of their product. You, you know what? Let's actually try refreshing the page because I noticed something. See, when you reset, get reset. Yeah, so now let's type in something. Okay, 
So I think the 30 is not the uh, limitation of the, it's not the number of times you can use. I would assume that from the A space, it is the context length. Okay. Right? Probably beyond 30 doesn't carry the context length. It doesn't know what you asked before. I think probably 30 refers to that. Okay. Rather than the limitation on the number of API calls you can make. So I would assume that they are very serious in capturing the analysis mm -hmm. through this. But let's also see what is more interesting. I can see there's a plugins, which is... Yeah, which ChatGPT has for com some time, and there is a lot of uh, partnership with markets, places like Instacart. You can order something. I'm not sure if this is available in India. I don't think so. Start a new topic to change the plugins. Oh, okay. So what? you have to say new topic, then you have to okay, and then say Instacart. Okay, so what can I do? What's in your mind? Inspire me. Okay, I can say show me recipes. Okay. So I'd be interested to see if I can order from here. Uh, so it's 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 a way it's interesting, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the moment I give Instacart, it understands that I am looking for something related to cooking, and then it gives me questions related to that. Maybe at some point of time, I think we'll be able to order just in the chat interface rather than going out of it. I think that's where companies are trying to. Uh, but I think there is already. Uh, much nice or there's a shops there's a swiggy or at least in india it's swiggy i'm not sure what's in the outside world uh it's instacart i would assume for groceries and then now there is a microsoft or google on top of it so i'm not sure how much this companies would be interested to share their data being targeted or be used by companies like microsoft google it'd be interesting to see uh how that is going to you want to try something else for me yeah, okay. So, do you want to go more creative or more precise? We'll try out the image generation. Sure. So, more creative or more precise? No creative, but no okay. creative. Image generation is usually a creative process. Mm -hmm. So, I'm usually not a very creative person. Let me see if it can actually help me be more creative. Let's see what it does. Okay, I gave the prompt ball. Let's also try this in GPT-4. Yeah. Of course, GPT-4 does not yeah. have that capability. Let me correct the sentence. How about just trying without correcting? And I think LLMs are smart enough to understand the context from the yeah. entire text. Open this tab. Please wait a moment while I create. Okay. It has created. I think this is a loading image. Oh. Like a filler. I also noticed that uh, Copilot is actually slower than GPT-4. I feel GPT-4 yeah. is faster. I'm not sure uh, if that's me just feeling it or is it statistically correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not sure if he looks Indian. <laughs> yeah. Okay. His fingers are right. I, I assume that they're using this DALI. Uh, I think that this is also correct. It has rice and some meat. Yeah, uh, What's yeah, yeah. biryani? You hardly make it. With, uh, I think it's a full chicken rotisserie. But it's almost got it right. I would yeah. say, right? It has got this Indian onions, mm -hmm. the masalas, and all. Right. Uh, uh, this more looks like a biryani, biryani. right? Yeah. Oh, uh, not really. <laughs> I'm not sure if these are olives or cloves. Uh, okay, it's hallucinating in a meaningful way, I would say. And I think there is wine bottle. I'm not sure these. I think these are wine bottles. Indians usually don't have wine bottles. Uh, let's see if Chapter Two Four has given some interesting. Uh, okay, oh, it has given a Nisaya. <laughs> I think it has got a more meaningful image. The background is very traditional. Yeah, yeah, yeah it has got understanding that. Uh, the biryani is usually made in high quantity. And it's usually stuffed on the top. Let's zoom in and let's see if it has got things right. I'm not able to zoom it though. We can close this and we can zoom in. I feel some some of the co-pilot images are of much higher definition yeah. than this because I was able to zoom in and see what is actually uh, in the image. But here I'm not able to. Uh, but 
on a high level, this image looks much more uh, realistic, but uh, maybe it's again, I uh, think the quality is better in Copilot and the adherence to yeah. the prompt is very good in chat GPT-4. But I'm assuming that both of these actually uses uh, Dali. Yeah, it says powered by Dali. And oh, it's, yeah, correct. That's right. I'm not sure if Dali has got multiple versions of it. I don't know. Okay, powered by Dali 3 image creator from design. I'm not sure what is this. Okay, from design, I think it means the creative, creative content, right? I think so. We chose the creative tab. I don't know. I think image creative is a product. Okay. From Microsoft. Jump start your creativity. Want to see me create to work? Select, surprise me, then create. Create. We didn't give any prompt, right? I thought, uh, sub, okay, I have to say surprise, but we want to try surprise me. Surprise. There's also a very interesting way where uh, you start with Copilot, you start talking to it, and then Microsoft can mm -hmm. probably sell their other AI products or any product okay. for that matter. Please provide a more descriptive prompt. Okay. I think they have to probably come up with a uh, descriptive way to ask us what to do. Okay, let's ask the same. Okay, there is a surprise me button. Good. What happens? Surprise okay, okay. Arcane generate. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's taking some time to load. Let's see what happens. And I think the more interesting thing about Copilot is their integration with Excel, PowerPoint through their 365. Mm -hmm. So they understand your data, but probably they understand your data better. So probably when I'm going to make a pitch deck or a deck for some reason for the next time, uh, Copilot can understand my context. It can understand how to make a really good uh, pitch deck and it helps me with all the beautification process, content process. Like how uh, Copilot does when you're writing code in Visual Studio Code, right? It could do something similar to that and that will be super, super important. And when you do analysis in Excel, if you're new to uh, Excel or if you use it once in a while, right? It'd be nice uh, for you to actually tell it something and then it converts these tables into some meaningful uh, reports or something useful. That'll be super uh, cool. I think that's where Copilot is going to Excel and they... Uh, Giving it for free is more like a teaser uh, for more people to adopt their products. That's how I see it. Too. Yeah. Right. And I think it also uses something called a Microsoft Graph to access your data. I don't know much about it. So let's ask ChatGPT4 what is Microsoft Graph. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they call it the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. Okay. It's a gateway to vast array of data and services available through Microsoft Sees. Yeah. Again, it'll be interesting to see how uh, the competition between these uh, bigger companies like Microsoft and Google versus open source chat players go. Uh, I, I hope that open source guys somehow figure out mm -hmm. how to build an interface which is easily adaptable. I think Mozilla has done an amazing job through Lava 5. Though they lack the marketing budget like what these big companies would do, but I think that's where we should be headed so that the data that we share, we ask questions are not centralized and they are not uh, controlled by one or two single companies across the globe. That's my take on it. Let's see how it, how everything spans out. Uh, w watch out for our next video. If you like the video, uh, please put it in the comments so that we can make more videos